Hi, today I'm going to show you how to record fixed assets in QuickBooks Online. First, you'll come up here to the gear icon, go to Chart of Accounts, you'll click this green New button, and then you'll come up here and tell the program you want to add an asset. We want that shown under our fixed assets. You can choose from several different fixed asset tax forms. Um, it's not super important what you choose here. Account name. For this example, we're going to call it an Apple Pro. For the description, you can put in the serial number. If you have multiple MacBooks in your business, you can put in like who you bought it from. Um, it's not super necessary to add something there unless you have multiples that you need to see which one is which. You'll see down here an example of the balance sheet and how it shows up there. So it's going to show up under your fixed assets. You'll click save. Now you see it on your chart of accounts here and we're going to add depreciation account to that. So very similar process. You will do asset again. We want it shown under the MacBook Pro like you see here. It's done under the truck. Accumulated depreciation right here, account name, we'll just call it depreciation, no description, and you can see here that it's shown under the MacBook, and then click save. Now I'm going to show you how to record the cost of a fixed asset in QuickBooks Online. You'll come over to the banking tab. And here we are, and then you'll find the transaction. Since this is a sample company, we'll just pretend that this $1,200 expense was the purchase of an Apple MacBook. You'll come to the category, start typing in the name of the fixed asset that you just set up, and click Add. Now when you go to the balance sheet. You will see your fixed asset right here.